The best brightening serum in India is the Innisfree Black Tea Youth Enhancing Ampule. I know it's a very, very big claim, but I got this serum as a sample. I used it for three days and I was so impressed by the brightening results that I went ahead and purchased a whole bottle. It cost you about 2500 on Amazon. You can also pick it from the Innisfree stores if you want. This is not a sponsored video. This is a video to let you know that if you're looking for a serum that's going to give you brightness, help you with uneven skin tone, remove dullness from your skin, and remove the fine lines and wrinkles, this is the product you're looking for. The Innisfree Black Tea Youth Enhancing Ampule. Why is it so good? You know, this product taught me two things. The first thing it taught me was you can't judge a product by just seeing the ingredients because what really matters is how those ingredients work on your skin. And second and the most important thing I learned is that not all ingredients give you the same results, which means that there are so many niacinamide uh, serums in the market, so many of them, but none of them give you the results that this particular ampule does. So that really means that even niacinamide comes in different qualities and obviously, you know, a more performing niacinamide or a better extractive niacinamide costs you money. Not to say that the best always costs money, but certainly if you're looking at the most top class ingredient, uh, source of ingredient or the quality of ingredient, it definitely costs you a little bit of money is what I've learned. Along with niacinamide, it has lauric acid. Lauric acid works on the propionic bacterium acne that is uh, on our skin naturally. This particular bacterium gives you acne when it overgrows. So lauric acid, which is an extract from coconut or palm oil, is able to control that very well. Now, I have not had acne in the past seven to eight months, touch wood. But if your skin is acne prone, this is a fantastic ampule to put in your skincare, which makes it a great product for oily skin, for acne prone skin or for skin that's recovering from acne scars or has PIH. I think even PIE because along with that it also has great soothers of black tea. Now black tea is, an ex is a fermented extract of green tea which Innisfree is supposed to have painted, patented or mastered very well. This uh, black tea extract acts as an antioxidant and kind of soothes and calms your skin. It's packed with deep hydration, it's got sodium PCA, it's got hyaluronic acid and it also has ceramide NP. Ceramide NP works on your barrier, which is so beautiful, right? If you have acne, you obviously have barrier issues. And so this serum will not only help you with the acne scars, pigmentation and preventing acne, but it will also strengthen your barrier. So almost like a complete serum in one bottle. It also has this magical compound called adenosine. Adenosine really helps in smoothing out wrinkles and helps in smoothing out fine lines. There are a whole lot of other ingredients that will be listed over here, but it is these star ingredients that really make this such a superior and a fantastic product in the market. It comes as a milky kind of a serum and you need very, very, very little. I mean, I can't tell you how little you really require. You just require a drop or two and it gets absorbed super smoothly onto your skin it takes about under a minute to get absorbed it's part of your pm routine so you know you use it after your if you're using vitamin c you can use it soon after that and you after this if you are still using other serums you don't require the serums this is almost like a all-in-one serum so you will not require your alpha butin you'll not require extra niacinamide and uh, you know vitamin c i still recommend to use because that helps improving the health of your skin also apart from fading and being anti-aging and after this you can go in with your moisturizer it is not recommended to use in the am routine and uh, so just keep it to your pm routine if you're using it with your retinol you know, I think you can still use it because the only active it has is niacinamide. So use your retinol serum if you want to use it. I am a purist, which means I don't like to combine anything with my retinoids and retinol. I will just use the retinol. Um, I use retinoin or retin A and then I'll go in with my, with my moisturizer. But if you are one of those who want to use it, then use your retinol and then go ahead and use this and then use your moisturizer. The reason I'm saying that is because I'm not sure it's going to interfere in the absorption of retinol in your skincare. So first retinol and then this. If you have a broken skin in terms of a broken barrier, this you will need to do a patch test to see how your skin accepts it. If there are a lot of breakage on your skin, it might irritate like any other product. So do a patch test and then use it. 
if you just have PIH, acne scars, pigmentation, dull skin, this is the product for you. And the reason it's got youth enhancing ampule is because youthful skin has to have three signs. The first thing, it should not have pigmentation. Second thing, it should not be dull. And third thing, it shouldn't be having wrinkles and fine lines. All these three concerns are addressed immediately by this particular ampule. And you get this fresh, youthful, plump skin, which does not have dullness, pigmentation and scars. I have been struggling to get rid of last bit of um, pigmentation from my cheeks over here. In fact, some of the videos, you can see a little bit of it, but I can see it fading with this ampule. I'm so happy and this has got to be one of the star products that I discovered in 2021 skincare routines. Ah, before I forget, the only thing I, the one thing I have to share is that when I started using it, I got two or three dry patches on my forehead and one over here. Very tiny, just dry patches. And I'm thinking that is the result of my skin adjusting to the serum or it could be the niacinamide that was drying because I have very dry skin, but they went away in about three to four days time. I did meet a dermatologist and she recommended that I just use a little bit of coconut oil on that and they will go away. It went away in three to four days time. I never had to repeat it again and I'm continuing to happily use this serum. For more, I'm going to meet you in the comment section.